Hello, this is going to be an introduction to Unit 1, Section 1, and a little help with how to do those problems, some tips and tricks. So first thing you need to do is sign in to your Hawks Learning account. You will then click on View Course, and I want to point out this Materials tab to you because it has very important information here. The first Excuse me, the first thing that we're that is here that we're going to need is this MTT formula sheet. And if you click on that, it will download it to your computer. And when you click on it down here, it will open it in another window. And I've already got it open here. And the main thing we like uh, for unit one, what we need out of this formula sheet is these first 10 prime numbers right here. That's very helpful for us. We're going to use that, and we're also going to use a 20 by 20 multiplication table. So if you don't have one, you probably don't, go ahead and Google 20 by 20 multiplication table and print it out. And that's what you're going to need for all of Unit 1 because you're not allowed to use a calculator. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my to-do list. I'm going to click on 1.1, and we're going to go into the practice there. And it says we want the prime factorization of 42. So I am going to see if I can write on here. Not yet. Hang on. All right, here we go. 42 is what we want to factor. So we're going to do a tree. And I'm going to look on my 20 by 20 multiplication table, and I find 42 anywhere in the body. And the first pair, the first place I find it says that it's 6 times 7. And when I think about my list, if I toggle back to my list of the first 10 prime numbers, I'll jot them here, not 9, because 3 go, goes into 9. They go on. So seven is right here. So I can circle seven. That's the end of that branch. And I could go ahead and type in my seven on my screen if I want to. And I need to keep going with six because six is not prime, but six is two times three. Both prime, circle both, put them here. So now what I need to do is type that in. And so I'm going to try to go back to my other screen. I'm going to close that out and see if I can type in 2 tab 3 tab 7 and click on submit answer and that is the prime factorization of 42. So I'm going to go to the next one and it's probably going to be very similar. If I look on my um, 20 by 20 multiplication table and find 49, I will see that it is 7 times 7. So that's the prime factorization of 49. And we'll do one more like this. If you look at your table, you can find that 33 is 3 times 11. And these are all prime numbers, so I, am, I don't have, they just take one step. I don't need a whole tree like I did before. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Okay, this says find the value of the following expression. So it's 2 cubed. And what that means is the 2 is the base and the 3 is the exponent. So it means multiply 2 times itself 3 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So your answer will be 8. Let's see if I can type in 8, submit answer. There you go. Next. 4 squared, well, that's 4 used as a factor 2 times. 4 times 4 is 16. And now it says rewrite the following integer as a base and an exponent and without using an exponent of 1. In other words, they don't want 36 to the 1 power. That would be incorrect. Okay, so what they want is a base and a power. So I need to think about how can I write 36 as a base and a power. So the first thing I'm going to do is a factor tree, and I find 36 on my chart, and I see that it is 6 times 6. Well, or I could have, let's say I started with 4 times 9. 
Well, those are not the same number, so I can't write it as a base. I can keep going. And then I can see that it is 2 to the second power times 3 to the second power. But that's not what they're looking for here. They want one base that is the same. So that's going to be that 6. They're not looking for a prime factorization here. This would be the prime factorization. So this is going to be 6 to the second power because it's 6 used as a factor twice. So let's type that in. All right, now they want the prime factorization again. So I'm going to need a factor tree for 24. And you can start a factor tree any way you can find it on the chart. So you, if you, the first thing you see is 2 times 12, that'll be correct. If the first thing you see is 3 times 8, that'll be correct. If the first thing you see is 4 times 6, that'll be correct they're all going to lead you to the same thing. And I'm going fast here because I'm expecting that you will do the practice yourself. Three twos and a three. Well, I can show you that's going to be the same thing here. Three twos and a three. Three twos and a three. So any way you write it, you're going to get the same answer. You can put them in any order in the software. It should accept it correctly if you enter it correctly, but you can put them in any order. And let's see if we can find another. Okay, this one is rewrite the following integer as a base and an exponent without using an exponent of one. So one trick you might want to do for your for some of these problems is see if this number is a perfect square, meaning your exponent would be a two. So the perfect squares are down the diagonal of your chart, and I can look at my chart and see that it is 13 squared. So that's a trick to try. That doesn't, it's not always a square, but uh, sometimes it is, and that might be helpful to you. All right, seven used as a factor three times. Well, that's 49. And now I have to do 49 times 7. And that's not on my chart, and I don't, can't use a calculator. So I'm actually going to have to do 49 times 7. 7 times 9 is 63. I can use my chart for that. 7 times 4 is 28. I can use my chart for that. 28 plus 6 is 34. So my answer should be 343. Let's see if that's correct. It is. Excellent. This is the same kind of problem we've already done, so I'm going to skip it. 28, you need a factor tree. You're going to factor 28. I'm going to skip it. We've already done that type of problem. I believe I've done a, an example of each of these different problems. This one I'll do because uh, there's a sort of a trick or a shortcut. The first thing I notice about this is that it ends in zero. So I'm going to start my factor tree like this. It's a big number. It's not on my chart, but I know that it's 35 times 10. Excuse me, that's 350. 350 is 35 times 10. And these are smaller numbers. 10 is 5 times 2. They're both prime. Again, I'm using that first 10 prime numbers on my MTT formula sheet. 35 is 5 times 7. Those are both prime. So it's just going to be 5 times 7 times 5 times 2. 5, 7, times 2. And again, I can put those in any order. And I believe that's all I'm going to do. This is 14 of 14, 264. There's another big one. So let me just give you a tip on this one. Hello. Why is it not letting me? Is it going to No, why is it not letting me? Hmm. OK, I'm unable to write on the screen all of a sudden for some reason. But the thing that you want to pay attention to here is this number ends in a 4, which is an even number. So even though I don't know what the prime factorization is, or I can't find this number on my chart, I do know that 2 goes into it. 
And so two goes into two once, two goes into six three times, two goes into four twice. So it'd be two times one, three, two, and then two will go into that number again. So it's gonna, it's gonna work out that if you just go slow and be careful and do some division, use that multiplication table, you will be able to work this out. I don't know why it's not letting me do this. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to stop there. There's a sample of how to do some 1.1 problems. Hopefully that helps you move quickly through 1.1, and I will do the same thing for the remaining sections in Unit 1. I apologize for my cat. <laughs> All right. Take care. Now I'm trying to figure out how to stop my recording.